Uh, look, there was, yeah, that's just, again, there's, there was no doubt that Jimmy was going to do well. Uh, I did, you know, I'm good mates with Jimmy. Did text him saying, did you really have to go and do that? Um, his reply was, sorry, mate. But um, look, it's, he's an amazing bowler. Um, there's no doubt that he could still, um, you know, go out there and, and play test cricket because he is good enough. Um, but, you know, when we spoke with Jimmy, we, we, we laid it out with him and, and gave him the reasons and he totally understood it. It's obviously a very hard thing for um, someone like Jimmy to have to listen to. Um, but as well, I think, you know, the role in which we sort of see him falling into after this week about still being in the dressing room um, and, you know, helping all of our bowlers, um, he's very, very excited by as well. Um, this week will all be about Jimmy, and rightly so. But I can tell you that his main focus um, is about going out there, taking wickets, and, and trying to win this game for England as much as he can. And then, you know, I'm sure when we're done here this week, that's when the sort of everything else will take over. Um, but yeah, he's desperate to go out there and and still put in a winning performance for England. I think the uh, the desire to constantly want to get better. Um, I think you look at his career as a whole, it's, um, it's just got better and better and better. Um, and, you know, I think that's credit to, to him of, of wanting to always learn, um, you know, new skills, new deliveries. Um, and when your career gets better and better over the years, I think that, that shows that um, that person's got a desire to not think that they're the finished article. Um, so, you know, 41 years old, 187 games so far. Obviously, this will be 188. Um, just incredible ambassador for fast bowling. Um, and, yeah, just if any young kid was to look up to someone to try and emulate, I don't think you'd be looking too far past James Anderson from a, from a whole package. And you look at where we've got to go in, in 18 months' time to, to Australia. Uh, we want to win that earn back. Um, we've got an incredibly talented and exciting group of young fast bowlers coming through at the moment. Um, so giving them uh, the experience of playing international cricket, getting test matches under their belt, will put us in a much stronger position um, to hopefully go out to Australia and, and win the Ashes. I don't think reboot's the right word. I think when you're in a position where you've you've got to make decisions, you know, it solely comes down to, you know, what what we all think is best for the team to to give us the best chance. And, you know, there's always going to be decisions that are hard ones to make, but um, that's, you know, a responsibility that you take on as someone, you know, we'll say at the top um, or as captain or as a leader that, um, you know, you sometimes got to put, you know, like personal relationships and things to the side because for me, the most important thing and what I'll always make my decisions around is what I think is best for the team. Um, there'll be some decisions, I'm sure, that, um, you know, people might not understand or might be frustrated by. And that's something that I'm absolutely fine with and I completely understand. Um, but something that I'm um, very... Um, I don't want to say stubborn, but very clear on is is I know that these decisions are best for the team from my point of view, um, and that comes with the responsibility of being a captain.